okay so this is our website that we have developed so now I, I will show you that how you can change the content the images the social media URL the logo the everything that you want to change so first of all we would like to log in into our dashboard so how you can log in your dashboard just going to go to your URL and then put slash and then write WP admin WP hyphen hyphen admin then you can you will get an option for logging your dashboard so after logging dashboard so first of all I will show you that how you can change the slider option so here are the three slider images so I'll show you that how you can change the slider image or add a new image or delete an image so if you want to change this option or this slider image just go to dashboard so from the dashboard you will get option named slick slider so just click on this and then you will get the slick slider there are three slider you will you will find that how many slider we have created so there we have created three sliders so there are the three slider if you want to delete anyone just click on trash if you want to edit anyone just click on edit so after clicking on the edit button you will get an option like this so here is the images and here is the title for the slider and don't forget to check it so because we have made this slider only for the home page so just click on this home page slider okay so if you want to remove or add any new image just from here you can add this so i will show you in the add new slider how you can add a new slider so if you want to add any new slider just click on it add new slides so then you will get an option like this so here will be the slider title so i'm going to put as title test slider and then i told you again i'll told you that just don't forget to check it so check on the home page then set a feature image that is really important for you to select an image so yeah here are the lots of images so if you want to add any new image from your computer just go here and select a file click on select a file and there are, there will be your directory or computer from here you can choose any image that you want to upload so i have already uploaded the image so that's why i didn't i don't i don't upload an image from my computer so i'm going to make a slider with this image so just i'm going to click on this and then you will get an option just in now right now you cannot click on this but when we check it then there will be uh, selectable so after selecting this image just click on set featured image so here here we go the image is uploaded here and uh, just click on publish so after clicking on publish then you can see there is only three sliders and uh, if you see a one two three so if i remove this if I reload the website then we will get another extra slider that's when we will get the four slider and we will see an image that we have uploaded here yeah we got it so in this way you can change the slider image and image so now I will show you that how you can change the logo option and the social media URL and also the from text from text from title from subtext and the quotation text and the title for the, our latest blog and title for our the subtitle for the latest blog and also the footer option so first of all i will show you how you can change the logo so for changing this just go to dashboard and click on just find the theme option where yeah here we got it so click on theme option so if we click on the theme option we'll get a option like this so here is the header option and header logo uploader and the social social selection so this is header logo uploader and the social selection <coughs> so how you can change the logo image so yes you can see this is the logo image so if you want to remove this just click on here and if you want to upload a new image just click on upload and yes select 
the same way as like as the slider option yes the slide logo is uploaded <coughs> and I'm going to click on save chance and the social icon social link so this is the Facebook icon link this link is for this it's an Instagram link, Instagram link, and the iTunes social icon link. So just you can change the link whatever you want to put, or whatever you can put any link that you want to link with the those icon. So from this option, you can change the icon link. Okay, then there is the home page option. So if I click on this, there are two sections. This one is from section and the block section so what is the from section so from section means here we have a form that so if we want to change or add any content or the title or the subtitle or the quotation text we can change it from here so here is the title click start your modeling career that will be here and this is the subsection title subsection just if we want to change or edit something just we'll write here just if we write something like this okay and also this way and here is the quotation text so just come here and don't forget to put p so just this is an important thing that you have to remember whenever you want to add any text for a quotation mark that you need to you you have to put all the text under the p tag so this is p tag open and this is p tag closed and for this line we have also put it and another p so if we don't uh, put if we don't put or if we don't write the text under the p tag then there will not be any space between them so that's why so for making the space we just put the space we just put the text under the p tag okay so there is another section that is the block section so what does the block section do the our latest blog post this is the title our latest blog post and here is a subtitle that our blog post feature expert advice from big city models as on and scout so if you want to change or edit this content just write it here so there here is the text that okay and this is what the view more button view more podcast button link so if we scroll down there is a button the view more podcast so now the now the the button is linked with the, our podcast page as if i click and just check it here so that we if we want to change the link just we can change that that the link from here so after changing them just click on save change then everything will be changed so in this way you can change the logo the social media url and the from text and the title and subtitle for the blog and also the footer option oh the, i didn't see you that how you can change the footer option so after this section you will get an option named the footer section so if i go if i click on this then here will be the footer logo here this is the logo if you want to change just click on remove and then upload a new logo and here is the title so don't remember so you should you need to remember the same thing as like as here that you have to put all the text under a p tag so just look i have put it in a p tag just want something like this so from there you can change the also the footer text also okay so now i will show you that how you can change the text and the title of the blog so you can add a new blog section or if you want to edit or delete any blog so for doing this just go to your dashboard and then you will get an option named the p post sorry post so after if you click on the post then you, you can see that how many posts we have created so we have four posts so here are the four posts so if you want to delete any post just click on trash or if you want to edit any post just click on edit so after clicking on the edit button you will get an option like this so here is the post title and here are the two options remember the visual text 
and the HTML text. So I'm going to show you that how you can change it the visual text. So from the visual text, you can also make the line bold. Just select the line. Here is the bold. Change there. Look at here. Or if you want to make the heading tag you can change the if you want to get the title little bit bigger just click on this then it will be like that okay also we can make a text line center just we don't need to make it we don't need to know more about it so here is the most important thing that is the that is the what that is the featured image that we can see in here so this title so this title is that title and this text is this text so if we go to the click to the read more button then we will get all of the text that we have created uh, that we have right in here yes there are lots of text here yes total pages are here and remember this that the, the blog the blog pages the blog post also came from this option so here are four blog one two three and four so those four blocks are actually the, the comes from the post okay so yes this is the edit option of the block so if we want to add any new block just click on add new button so after clicking on add new button you will get an option like this so <coughs> from this option just click on visual if you want to write a visual text so just click on visual and then uh, write your text okay so here is the post title and here should be the post content and here you need to upload the feature image. <coughs> so just you can select any image that you want to get with your post so after selecting then click on set feature image then the feature image will be automatically set with your post and then click on update a uh, publish then you will get the post here so if I check <coughs> then we can get it here at the top of the pages yes this is the post title here is should be the post tag that i have i have put it here and this is the text okay okay now i will show you about the podcast section so how can i add a new podcast so just click on podcast button in the menu then you will get the podcast here there actually total <coughs> podcast okay <coughs> here is a soundcloud link because uh, uh, we have the soundcloud with our podcast option so just go there so if you want to add new podcast just go to the podcast option and then click on broadcast after clicking on this you will get the option you will, you will see that how many podcasts we have created there are two podcasts that we have already created so if you want to edit any broadcast just click on edit this is the same as like as the post so there is a different thing that is the that is the what that is the <coughs> soundcloud widget so how we can so here is the soundcloud widget so soundcloud widget here is the text as like as the post here is the podcast title podcast content and is the podcast featured image so if you want to add any new podcast just click on any add new podcast so before doing this i will show you that how you can edit the soundcloud text so if you want to add any soundcloud you need to go to soundcloud and then just select any sound uh, that you want to add in your website so i'm going to add this one <coughs> so for if you want to add this soundcloud widget into your website just click on share 
and then take the embedded code just click and control C or just click co copy this and <coughs> paste here that sound cloud okay and then update it okay you in this way you can change the sound cloud widget so if you want to add any new podcast item just click on add new podcast item or also you can click the here the add new podcast <coughs> So here will be the podcast title and here will be the podcast content. First I'm going to copy this and just be okay and i will add a new feature dimension <laughs> okay just uh, i'm going to add this feature image set a feature image and if you scroll down then you can get an option like soundcloud coffee so soundcloud code so just go to soundcloud and select any soundcloud music that you want to add just i'm um, going to add okay i'm going to add a new soundcloud audio here are some soundcloud audio mm -hmm. let's listening it for a little bit okay just i want to add this one so just click on share and then embed and then copy this text and put it here and just click on update so after clicking on this if we visit our podcast page we will show that the new uh, that the new podcast has been already added here so just wait for some time yes this is the new podcast yeah this is working well nice here is the podcast content podcast title so in this way you can add or change the podcast item okay so now i will show you that how you can edit the about touch pages so here is the title and the text so how you can change this so for change the page you know you have to go to the page option so after clicking on this option you will see the all of the pages that 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 are already created in our website so as we are work as we are going to work with the about page so just click on edit so after clicking on the edit option then we will get all of the content that that we are going that we have seen here so all of the these images and the title and the text that we we get here so if you want to edit this image or change this image just click on here edit this option and then from here just you can click on there and then if you want to add any new image just browse image and then you can select any one that you want to it you want to display on the bottom pages so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to change this so that's why I'm going to click on cancel but if I want to change just after selecting the image selecting the image just click on save okay so and then we have a title so what is title here is the what is the modeling blueprint this title we have add here if we want to edit this title just click on edit this element here is the title you can change everything or whatever you want you can change from here so after editing the text then just click on save it and there is the text block this is the same as like as the title option 
so from here you can change the any content or any text and then just click on save so those are the same thing and this is the space space means that is the different this is the wide space between the title and the text if we put it here more like 100 then the space will be more so but we are we put 10 pixel only okay after changing that just click on save it so here is the okay this, this was the left hand column but sorry left hand column so what is will be the right hand column so here is the instagram instagram picture so just we will took the shortcut you this is a little bit difficult to work uh, i think if you want to know about this you have to know the shortcut so just put this here not need to know any more so and then the text block you can this is the side but actually you can also change the images from here just this is the same as like as the uh, these images okay and yeah this is a simple like this so this is all about the uh, about the pages okay now i will show you that how you can change the menu and the widget section okay so let's go to the dashboard and find the appearance option and from appearance go to the menu option so if you click on the menu then you will see that the menu item that we have put it on our display so home about blog podcast contact us this is a drag and draw option you can change uh, you can change the order that how you can want okay and also if you want to add any new page just come here home or check out if you want to add just select them and click on add to menu and then <coughs> they will be added on the menu and if you want to remove just remove click on here just remove and then save menu okay if you want to add any custom link that's mean just here will be adding any new link like the https facebook.com and if we like fse facebook add a new menu look here the menu has been created and the url is so you can add any custom url that uh, from any website or any blog and then here will be the level text then you can add to the menu and i'm going to remove this because this is not necessary to add our website so don't remember don't forget to check the primary menu okay so <coughs> this was the for the menu i'll show you how you can change the sidebar or widget section so widget how we can change the widget section from the appearance just you need to find the widgets click on this and left okay then we will get the widget like this sidebar right sidebar podcast okay actually we will work with this so here is the instagram short code and the title for instagram if we change this title is instagram title okay and the text itunes that we have created here this is for actually this and this is the text for the images and the about frank text this is the text for the about frank and here is the email id or subscribe link this is for that option <coughs> so this is all about our website so in this way you can change everything so if you don't mm, understand anything just let me know i'll let you and in future if you want if you need anything just knock me and i will do it without any payment okay 
thank you very much for watching my tutorial.